Hey guys, it's me, me, and welcome back to Kirby's Epic Yarn. Today we're going to be doing Fangora, and then moving on to the rest of the world. Let's go ahead and begin. Like the music. Now you will notice that with the bosses, there's a fourth rank above the gold one. That is a sort of pseudo-platinum, except, uh, the thing is, the only way, if you, when you get that rank, you need to get that rank, because you need to get the patch from it. However, you can't achieve that rank unless you intentionally kind of prolong the video itself, or prolong the battle itself. There are many ways of uh, making this prolong, which you're going to see. There's only one way of doing damage to him, first of all. You can only do damage by him by pulling his, uh... You can only do damage to him directly by pulling his, uh... Pulling his tongue. And I'm just failing miserably right now. That's fine. I can just get him all this way. Like, this is how you do actual damage to him. You gotta, you gotta do that three times. But, by getting, uh, you got a got gold there, but by throwing the little fire pellets back at him, we can then, you got the dash at the last second to do that, but by throwing the fireballs back at him, those don't do any damage to him, but they give you, uh, they give you beads, so that's the way to get a platinum that way, just so wait for it. Perfect. And now we have enough where we can just pretty much just wait for it. And you're dead. Yay! Of course, if you get the platinum, or if you get the patch, you definitely got the gold. There's no special treasure or anything. We got the Fangora music, the mole patch. We did it. We got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. You're going to be hearing that line many, many, many more times. But I see a little new piece of new world open up each the time. The weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Grumble, grumble. Kirby's tummy was growling, so he went searching for food. Too bad there aren't any tomatoes up here, he thought. Why were there any tomatoes in a tree? Suddenly, the tree started rocking back and forth. Kirby thought it was an earthquake until he saw Prince Fluff shaking the tree. This is how we get food in Patchland. Kirby tried to hang on for as long as he could, which wasn't very long at all. Look at all that, Fluff cried. Kirby was so angry that he ran after Fluff. He was trying to help. so darn long that he forgot all about being hungry. And Kirby does not like uh, people dealing, messing with him in food, I guess. But we did unlock the next world, which is Hotland. And now we have this mole patch, let's see what this does. He creates a sinkhole. It's not very safe. Think about all the homes you destroy if there's anyone living on that property. Mole hole. Gotta say, I'm not a fan of this level, or any of these for that matter. You'll see what I mean. This involves another new transformation. This is the little digger drill thing. You could dig up, you could dig down, but uh, 
I gotta say, I'm not the biggest fan of these particular levels, because a lot of treasure is hidden in a spot that you don't normally see until it's too late, and they have to go through the entire level again to get it. But uh, it's not just that, I just don't like the actual gimmick itself, not the biggest fan of it. But, it's uh, that's more so nitpicking than anything else. Now if you go over this way, go down there, ta-da, we got ourselves a nice little new patch for us. Let's go over here though before we go any further. Kind of reminds me of Dig Dug for a degree with those little enemies there and the little sockets there and to go underneath them. There we go. Killed you. That's all that matters. So let's dig down here. And then dig over here to the right. Get all those beads. And then dig down this. Break that down. Then you go inside this, open the path we just opened up, get all these beads. And thus, we get our first piece of furniture, the carrot dresser. And you also see these sections here, with these boxes that break immediately upon opening, that you cannot go back to at all. So, once you go in there, make sure you know what you're doing before you go into it. Get a lot of gems in those little spots there too, but uh, I, I want I don't want to go over here. I want to go up. I want to go up right now because there's some stuff I missed. Look over here, for example. Get all these gems. We gotta get like crocodile while we're at it too to get a little patch piece in case we need to get it later. There we go. And we could just kill them too. Let's get. We don't get any uh. Any actual beads for that, but still. Just do your own thing, that's fine. Get these beads here. Don't get crazy, though. You need all of these you can get. And then quickly go in here. And then we could just jump our way back out. Gotta be very careful with this. One wrong step, and you can be somewhere you don't want to be. Like here. Knock that down. Jump out of. Ah, dang it. I messed up. That was my own fault. Lost a lot of gems, but hopefully I can make that up with the little goal game at the end. And uh, can't get the ones in there. I feel like I missed a treasure too, but I don't quite remember if I did or not. I, pra I practiced at this level, but still don't remember too much about it. Let's see. I'm trying to remember how I did this before. Let's see. First, I. Then I go underneath it. What? Where? I didn't dig in the proper spot. Dang it. Well, fine. I know I did wrong, but hopefully it doesn't mess me up for too much else. Oh well. I guess I have to dig down now. It's my own fault. Yep. There's that little piece of treasure I missed right up there. But, oh well. I guess I'll have to go back for it. I can't actually get. I can't access from any other way possible. Hopefully, I just have enough for. Uh... Wait, yeah, that was two of them. Not the third one. I can't reach. But hopefully, I can still get enough beads. So I don't have to really do too much. As long as I get the gold bead here, I should be completely. <coughs> I should be completely fine. Gold medal, not gold bead, but whatever. Yeah, they give, don't give you too many beads in here. Don't give you an overabundance of beads for this level. So, yeah. I don't think I played this level too well, but hopefully I can get enough this way. Dang, I don't think it's going to be enough with just two. Oh, I just barely got the gold. All right, I'm okay with that. But I have to go back and get that other one that I missed in the digger level. But hey, we got our first missed treasure. 
What? I'm not sure what happened there, but my game card kind of cut out. And... Thankfully, it didn't lose the other video recording I made. At least I don't think it did. I checked and it looks like it's in order, but... Okay. Hopefully you don't see more of that in Sluts Play. Hopefully you don't have any more hiccups like that. I don't exactly get this uh, capture card too long ago either, so if it's already having issues now, I uh, can be very ticked, must I say. Either way, let's get that treasure I missed. Okay, let's try this again. And then quickly dig underneath there. That's what you had to do that I messed up. So yeah, I just, uh, I knew it was in that one spot, I just, I just missed it. Oh well, the biggie. Got it this time. Yay! I'll miss you back at the end of the level. Alright, so now we finished up that level properly. Let's go over here to Weird Woods. Hmm. Interesting looking place. This here... This level based entirely on the UFO. You notice that all these extra levels after the boss are all based on an entire gimmick through the entire level. So that's kind of cool, kind of neat. But, this is an auto scroll too, so if you miss something, well, you have to go back for it. That's the thing. You, I'll take all of you. That's fine, I don't need you, I suppose. Move down. Controls are a little weird, but nothing really deal breaking at all. Yeah, I should have uh, saved it till that moment. Oh well. I guess go around this way. Or just not. That's fine. I don't have to. Do you have little gems for me to inhale too? So I guess I kind of grind there, I suppose. Come on, quickly, grab it. I want to quickly go underneath here because there's a treasure right there for us. The telescope. Very easy to miss that one if you're not actively looking for it. So, uh, I think that my practice when I missed it on my first time. Come on, give me another one, please. Dang it, I don't have... Ugh. I have to go back for that one. I don't have enough uh, charge. It happens. Now for this, you want to grab enough to make a charge. And then shock to take weird woods away. So this, uh, you have to inhale three of these, I believe, in order to get enough to, for a full charge. Or is it just two? It's three. Be careful, because you could also get it by them, too. He takes two hits. Oh, look, we already had a gold. How nice. Just wish I would have gotten that treasure. Of course, like normal, you can't inhale Scarfies. Don't try. You could kill him, though. That's one thing you could still do. Ah, stop. Stop. Stupid bumpers. No. Move. Move this way. No! Seriously? <sighs> Hate bumpers. Didn't have any issues in practice at all, then of course now I have issues. Can't even get that. Man. I'm not bouncing around so much. Well, I missed two treasures. That was not great. 
stop bouncing me. God, seriously. Uh, this is fun. Plenty of gems here for us, but keep in mind there are spikes on the ground, so you don't want to hit those at all. I like the effect of the air, too. So we have another weird woods here. So just be very careful, and if you do need to get gems again, just inhale them that way, that's all. <coughs> I am failing miserably. Come on. Why am I doing so badly? I don't like how slow the momentum is when this happens. Like, once you bounce, it's really hard to get this back up to speed again. It does, it is kind of off-putting a bit. At least you give me that. Got a gold. That that's something. All right, there we go. That time worked. Come on, there we go. A log cake. Oh, that's nice. Good. I didn't get by the bumper of death this time. All right, so that's pretty much all the treasures. I'll meet you back at the end when we actually finish them and clear them. Hooray! We finally got those! And thus, we are done with World 1. Before we head over to World 2, let's stop back over at, uh, the Qu Quilty Square first, and meet the guy's friends that we saw. Well, it seems that my brothers have decided to set up their shops here, right next to one another. Hmm. Well, I suppose that makes things more convenient. Hello there, I am Chase Wool. If you need furniture, come see old Chase. I am Loomis Wool. I have the best fabric store in Patchland. The only one, too. Visit them whenever you need something. So in order to get 100%, you do need to purchase all different fabrics and everything. You could pretty much buy all of them. You can't buy them all at a time. But... I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave right now. You can also go to the furniture shop. And same way, they sell different things. So yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and head over to the second world. You can also go and go this way. You press the minus button, you get quick travel places. Of course, you see the ones floating there in the background, but Go to Hotland that way. And thus we are in a desert level. Hmm. Not exactly what I would expect when I see a volcano. But, either way, well, I'll call it off there. So next time in Kirby's Epic Yarn, we'll be going through the Hotlands and seeing what happens there. See you guys next time.